Hi, I'm Miles Michaelis, professional pitcher, and I'm here to take you through a couple drills that I like to do before I start throwing to make sure my mechanics are in check. And it's very important that when we're throwing that we maximize all of our time because there's only so many throws in everyone's arm. So we have to take playing catch very seriously. Once I stretch and get loose, the first thing I like to do is just line up my feet with my catch partner and my target and just go through a simple, slow weight back and weight forward drill. And this is to feel my weight transfer going from my legs through my hips and into the ball. So I want to go back, get into a good launch position, come forward and throw out over my front foot, staying directional with my target. So when you speed it up, do a few more, set, speed it up. A few more, come set. There we go. You always want to try and hit your throwing partner right in the chest. It's a courtesy. Always stay, keep all your momentum moving forward and stay. Sometimes I'll stop in the middle of my motion and kind of look at my checkpoints, make sure my elbow's up, my hand is facing the right way, I'm in line with my partner. So we'll check it a few times, then we'll go, keeping it in one fluid motion. It's important to stay Stay loose, out over that front foot. The next thing I like to do is just a nice, easy bounce point drill where I come up, down, and then make my stride towards my catch partner. So you want to come up, find the balance, 1001, 1002, go down, and make your throw. This is a great drill when you just start pitching because to find that balance point is very crucial in pitching. If you can't find your balance point, it becomes hard to find the strike zone. So we can bring it up, we can hang it, 1001, 1002, and then make your throw. Ooh, come set, get our target. 1,001, 1,002, down, step towards the target and follow through. Sometimes to get a little extra practice, if you've been struggling with your balance point, you come, come to your set position and hold it for uh, 1,001, 1,002, you know, or even 10 seconds to really feel, you want to feel your balance point and where it is and where your leg comes up. You want to come at least parallel with the ground and keep your leg at a 90 degree angle. If you want to come higher up, that's an option, but you always want to come to at least a good 90 degree angle right there. Keep your leg parallel with the ground. So we'll come up, 1001, 1002, down, and throw. Bad throw, sorry Jerry. It's important to always aim at a target to practice, because if you're not aiming at a target, you're not practicing. And remember, like I said, throws are limited. So I'll come set, 1001, two, three, step and throw. The next thing I like to do is work on my timing with a couple throws. So I'll stand like I'm on the rubber in the stretch and we'll just go one, two, three, and throw. And then I like to stop myself in the middle and make sure I get to where I need to be. 
One, two, three. I'm balanced. I can throw on four. So be one, two. Make sure my foot is lined up with my target before I bring it to three. Follow through. And then I'll check my launch position. One, two, three, four. My elbow's up, my target is lined, my shoulders are lined with my target, and then follow through. It's a good drill to be able to do to stop yourself during your delivery so you always know and you have these checkpoints in your head of where your body needs to be. So you've got one, two, three, four, and then follow through. And once you stop and check, you always want to do a few without stopping because you never want your delivery to be stiff. You want to be smooth in your delivery. We don't want to be a robot. Stay nice and loose. Get your timing down. One, two, three, and four. Throw and finish in that position. These are great drills to do before you throw to get your arm loose at a short distance before you use your long toss program. So we have the, st the steady drill where we just line up with our target. We have the balance drill where we just lift and hang that foot, stay balanced. A little bit of bend in your, your uh, push leg is good. And good angle, foot always pointed down. And then we stride and then we put it all together with timing and we can stop at our checkpoints and make sure that we're getting where we need to be. Whew. So these are just a couple drills that you can do before you start throwing to help you maintain a steady delivery and keep pitching well and to improve in the future. I'm Miles Michaelis, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>